Alright guys, today we're going to be making lomo saltado. Before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy cooking videos, learning new dishes, techniques, and a little bit of history and story behind certain dishes, please like and subscribe for more cooking and food content. Thank you. So lomo saltado is a very popular traditional Peruvian dish. But what makes this dish so cool is that it has a lot of Chinese influence. During the 19th and early 20th century, there was a mass influx of Chinese immigrants. As Chinese immigrants moved into the country, they began to import traditional Chinese ingredients like soy sauce and ginger. This brought about a new form of cuisine that they coined chifa cuisine. This new type of food was an amazing fusion of Peruvian and Chinese ingredients that we see represented in Lomo Saltado. Now, before we jump into any actual cooking, the first thing we're going to do is get our potatoes ready. Honestly, if you're making this at home, I suggest just purchasing frozen fries so you can save yourself a bunch of time. But for the sake of the video, we're going to make them fresh. Cut your potatoes into fries. I like them pretty thick so that they hold up in the final dish. Whenever you cut anything that doesn't have a flat edge, start off with slicing one side so that you have a stable foundation so you don't end up cutting yourself when it moves around. Wash your potatoes and rinse until the water runs clear. We are getting rid of as much starch as possible so that they crisp up nicely and so they don't stick together during the frying process. Once the water runs clear, drain your potatoes and lay them on a sheet pan with some paper towels to absorb the water. Make sure they're as dry as you can get them, otherwise they will splatter hot oil all over the place when we go to fry them. Now in a pot, get your oil to about 325 degrees. We are going to par fry our fries so that they will be completely cooked on the inside but not yet browned. About 8 minutes. The reason why we do this is to cook off any excess moisture inside the potatoes, resulting in a crispier french fry when we go to fry them again. Once your potatoes are cooked, drain them and lay them out on a sheet pan to cool while we prep the rest of the recipe. Spread the fries around so that they don't stick together when they cool down. Now onto the good stuff. Let's make our lomo saltado sauce. For the sauce, you're gonna need 0.75 ounce ginger, 1.5 ounce garlic, a quarter cup of ají amarillo, one tablespoon of fresh cracked black pepper, half a cup of black vinegar, one and a quarter cup soy sauce, three quarter cup of white distilled vinegar, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and 1.25 ounce of cilantro stems. Save the leaves for later. Now just blend your ingredients until it's completely smooth. Then we're gonna set that aside. Now next we're gonna make our Peruvian green sauce. Okay, grab five ounces of iceberg lettuce, two ounces of jalapenos, half an ounce of garlic, three tablespoons of lime juice, two teaspoons of salt, quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and two ounces of cilantro. Then throw everything into the blender and blend until it's smooth. It should be a beautiful green color. Pour it into a squeeze bottle and set that aside. Now I'm going to show you how to prep our vegetables and our meat. Start off by cutting off the ends of the red onion. Then we're going to slice that in half. Then once you peel and clean your onions, we're going to start slicing them into wedges. Cut your onion wedges pretty thick because we want the onions to have a nice char without turning into mush. We're going to cut the tomatoes the exact same way we cut the onions. Cut off the ends, slice the tomatoes in half, and we're going to slice them into wedges. Just like the onions.
Now for our beef, we are just going to trim off any silver skin and excess fat, then cut them into strips. I used sirloin because it was on sale at the market and I'm currently broke, but you can use filet mignon or whatever beef you have. So this is the most important part of cooking lomo saltado. When you cook the components of this dish, you need an extremely hot pan or skillet. Normally this would be done in a wok over a flame that you can't replicate in the home kitchen or on an induction burner like I'm using here, but we are going to do the best we can. Each time you saute your ingredients, make sure your pan is super smoking hot, like make your smoke alarm go off kinda hot, trust me. You're going to want to get as much color as you can without overcooking your beef. Once your beef is caramelized and basically cooked, hit it with some of the sauce that we made earlier. It'll almost instantly evaporate and flavor the beef. Use as much as you want, depending on how much of the sauce you want to taste. But don't go too crazy because we will be using it to season the onions and tomatoes as well. Throw your beef into a mixing bowl and we're going to cook the rest of the vegetables. Fry up your onions next and we're going to throw that into the bowl as well. And finally, we're going to char our tomatoes. Once they're almost done, hit them with a little bit of the sauce as well, and we're going to throw that into the bowl with our onions and our beef. While we cook our lomo saltado, we are also going to be frying our fries for the second time at a higher heat, about 375. Once they're golden brown and beautiful, we are going to throw the beef tomato onion mix back into the pan and toss it with the fries. This is our last chance to season with more sauce if it needs it. Give it a nice mix and we're ready to plate. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, please like and subscribe for more content. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. See you in the next video.